Hello guys and this is the fourth video of the 3ds Max asset creation series and in this video I want to show you how to efficiently work with your four different viewports as you've probably seen already you've got four different viewports and each of them uh, represent different screens as you can see here you've got your perspective view what that is is the what the player will see in the game like if you walk up to it you will see this very basic chair model that I've got here it's just a bunch of boxes together. Uh, I'll go teach you a lot more than that. This is just basic stuff, really. And then you've got your front, top, and left wireframe view. Wireframe view just shows you like the edges and the corners, etc., of the shapes. So let's say if I convert it into an editable polygon, you'll see some of the factors changing it. So I'm just going to change this leg into an editable polygon quickly. I'm going to show you how to work with those uh, later on. So let's say if I, uh, sorry, change the edge on here. So I'm just going to grab this edge here, and I'm going to use the transformation tool slightly to pull it out. Okay, there you go. And as you can see, that's been reflected in the uh, top view and this view over here. It, it isn't going to look like this in game, as you can see it's just a block, that's just basically showing what it can see from that angle, because at the moment the angle that it can see is something similar to this, and is what you can see, there we go. You won't see any lighting effects or anything like that on the different viewports, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back to normal now. But with the different viewports, you can do a, ho a whole lot of different things. Like over here, you've got a little cube thing. You can use that to change the angle. So if I go to left, and then if I can, I can turn that around, keep turning around, you can do so uh, in the other viewports as well. And you'll see it will change over here. Uh, the value will change over here. So you've got left. Okay, let's just go put that up like that. Okay, so we've completely flipped it now. We've got right, back, left, and front. And now you can see these two different viewports are identical to each other. Also, when you're working with different viewports, you can use them to your advantage to help you model and make basic shapes. So when I made this chair, um, I used the grid on these viewports. So I'm going to go from the top view, if I be up the top view here, and I'm just going to draw my basic shape. I'm going to make a quick little uh, square to show you. There you go. And as you can see, we've got a little box on the ground. And then I'm going to drag that up, which you can see on this viewport over here. And then you can drag this up to match with something. Now you can use it to match the height of something so much easier. It uh, just gives you a little bit more accuracy. So I'm going to make up this around the same height as the chair seat. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Okay, and as you see now, it's pretty much exactly the same height. I mean, it helps so much when you use the different viewports. Like, now I'm going to go and I'm just going to drag this up slightly. Okay, so I'm just going to resize this to make the seat on the chair. Okay, and I'm just going to drag this up to the height using the viewport up here again and I'm going to drag it up to the height of the seat and then as you can see in this little box here we can just make the legs one and then drag this up to the correct height one two three Okay, so I'm just going to go and select that now and show you that I can move it around. I'm just going to go place that back in there now, and I'm going to create a very basic uh, backrest for it using the viewport once again. It doesn't really matter what side I'm going to put it on, but I can pretty much work out from the color of it, which you can see here, that this corner is this one, and the blue one is there. So I'm going to want to put it on the opposite side over here. 
So I'm just going to make a quick box to represent that. Okay. And then I'm just going to work out roughly. Okay. Let's just make it rather thin. And then it's going to be around this height. As you can see at the moment, it's coming up from the ground. We don't want that. You don't really need to worry about that. You just need to use the transformation tools to move your object up and down. But I'm just going to go and work out on average that the backrest is going to be about this tall. And I'm going to drag this up. And there we go. We've got our chair, just like the one that you can see next to it. It may be slightly off because I've made the seat a bit big and it's for pretty much a complete giant. But I mean, it just shows you that you can work with viewports really efficiently and that they're pretty nice and easy to use. That's about all I wanted to show in this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, Extreme Tech is still recruiting. We're they're going into serious development now and uh, if you want to check it out just go to the recruitment page I put the link in the description so goodbye have fun good luck and I'll see you in the next video